Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Many KitchenAid dishwasher repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. To fully disassemble and reassemble the dishwasher, you will need a T15 Torx bit, a 5 16th inch nut driver, a quarter inch nut driver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, pliers, needle nose pliers, and potentially an adjustable wrench. Before you begin any disassembly, turn off the power to the dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. If you need to uninstall the water supply tube assembly, first remove the lower dish rack. Next, pull out the upper dish rack, then open the front rack stops and fully remove the dish rack. Pull out the third level rack, open the front rack stops, and remove the rack from the rails. Uninstall the lower spray arm by lifting up and rotating counterclockwise. Now use the small flathead screwdriver to help pry open the top and rear panel bracket tabs to release the water tube assembly. Detach the assembly from the diverter cover to fully remove. To uninstall the diverter cover and remove the diverter disc, rotate the microfilter counterclockwise, then lift up to remove. Lift out the filter screen. Now use the T15 Torx bit to unthread the four screws, securing the diverter cover. With the screws unthreaded, you can set the cover aside and lift off the diverter disc. Reinstall or replace the disc by aligning it on the diverter motor shaft. Reposition the cover, then thread the four screws to secure. Realign the filter screen on the floor of the tub with the rear of the screen position under the diverter cover tabs. Realign the microfilter in the sump and rotate clockwise to lock it into place. Reinstall the water supply tube assembly by inserting the lower water tube ports into the diverter cover. Then snap the assembly back into place in the rear and top panel brackets. Reinstall the lower spray arm by inserting it into the support and rotating clockwise until it drops into place. Realign the third level rack rollers on the rails, slide the rack in, and close the front rack stops. Do the same to reinstall the upper dish rack. Replace the lower dish rack. To access door components, use the T15 Torx bit to unthread the eight side screws and the top right screw holding the inner and outer door panels together.
Unthread the top right door latch screw last. With the screws unthreaded, you can lift the outer door panel up to detach. Disconnect the user interface wire connector and detach the wire retainer so you can set the outer door panel aside. This will allow you to reach the detergent dispenser, door latch, and main control board. To replace the detergent dispenser, first depress the tab to disconnect the dispenser wire connector. Next, use the small flathead screwdriver to bend the dispenser retaining tabs outward. You can now remove the old detergent dispenser. Before you install the new dispenser, use the pliers to bend the retaining tabs inward. Now position the dispenser in the inner door panel from the inside and press until it snaps into place. Connect the wire connector. Reinstall the outer door panel by first connecting the user interface wire connector and securing the wire retainer. Make sure the console seal is in place. Then slide the side edges of the outer panel behind the retaining brackets. Then lift the panel up to join it with the inner door panel. Rethread the screws to secure. The top right door latch screw should be threaded first. That screw and the two upper side screws are longer than the six remaining side screws. In order to replace components like the dish rack roller assemblies, heating element, and drain pump, you will need to fully uninstall the dishwasher. If necessary to provide more slack, use the adjustable wrench to unthread the water supply line from the valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Use the 5 16 inch nut driver to unthread the two screws securing the lower access panel and toe panel to the frame. With the screws unthreaded, you can set the panels aside. Pull out the remaining insulation. Use the quarter inch nut driver to unthread the screws securing the junction box cover. Then detach the cover. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the screws to release the black and white power wires from the right side of the terminal block. Unthread the screw to release the grounding wire as well.
Now depress the retaining tab and slide the junction box to the left to detach it from the support bar. Use the needle nose pliers to help unthread the power line strain relief nut. Remove the power line from the junction box. Hook the junction box back on the support bar to keep it out of the way. Next, open the dishwasher door and unthread the two screws securing the dishwasher mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. To move the dishwasher, you may need to thread the legs further into the base to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. To replace an upper dish rack roller assembly, remove the insulation and set a weight on the dishwasher to prevent it from tipping. Flip open the two front rack stops and slide out the upper rack. Use the small flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tab so you can lift the appropriate rear rack stop off the rail. Slide the rail out. Next, use the 5 16 inch nut driver to unthread the two screws, securing the old roller assembly. With the screws unthreaded, set the assembly aside. To install the new roller assembly, align it on the inner wall then thread the two screws to secure. With the new assembly installed, slide the rail into place, then snap the rear rack stop onto the rail. Align the upper rack rollers on the rails, push the rack in, and close the front rack stops. Remove the weight. To access the drain pump, wash pump, and water inlet valve, tip the appliance back so it rests on its rear panel. If you need to replace the drain pump, depress the side retaining clips so you can detach the drip tray. Then release the tabs to detach the float switch from the tray so you can set the tray aside. Release the drain pump wire connector cover, then depress the tab to disconnect the wire connector. You can now depress the pump retaining tab and rotate the old pump counterclockwise to detach. To install the new drain pump, align it on the sump and rotate clockwise to lock it into place. Connect the wire connector and close the cover. Snap the float switch into place on the drip tray then realign the drip tray 
and snap it into position. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. To reinstall the dishwasher, realign the insulation as necessary. Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Extend the front leveling legs if necessary. Rethread the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Detach the junction box from the support bar. Feed the power line wires through the rear of the box. Then thread the strain relief nut to secure. Realign the junction box on the support bar and slide right to snap it into position on the retaining tab. Realign the black and white power wires on the right side of the terminal block and thread the screws to secure. Then thread the screw to secure the grounding wire to the junction box. Reposition the junction box cover and replace the screw. Realign the insulation. Now realign the toe panel and insulation. Then reposition the access panel and thread the screws to secure both panels. Reattach the drain hose to the sink drain or garbage disposer and secure with the clamp. Confirm the hose is elevated above the connection point to help prevent water from flowing back into the dishwasher. Reattach the water supply line to the water supply valve if necessary. With the reinstallation complete, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and the dishwasher should be ready for use.